when you establish a certain weak area and this is before you've even reached the king area so right now we're, we're not actually we're looking at these potentially looking to get to this stage here but if you see a a gap or a total weakness that really would put you in an absolute advantage in the game why not go for it and it doesn't necessarily have to be the king or the king area yes these two are the initial weak squares that we're looking at but what we're going to do is practice in this game what i'm trying to explain so going to change the target area now if we get this area then we'll jump back straight onto that because that is the ultimate goal getting the king with the king area okay that's clear but we're now going to look at a different target area now we're going to look at a different weakness area and we're going to focus on that area until such time as we can get to smother the king so we're going to target this weak area here across this file these squares that's where we're going to start focusing our attention so i'm going to do the lazy man so we're focusing on these squares the opponent's looking center control that's okay no problems so what we'll do is we'll capture as usual our focal point is on these squares here see what damage we can cause we might actually get to these squares and the opponent gives it to us so we'll just capture this knight here so we're making space towards these at these squares Okay, so the bishop's there and the knight's protecting this pawn quite nicely need to get pieces developed so going to start pushing the pawns up now we're attacking this area slowly but surely always have the mindsets of these are the weak and the opponent's given us the diagonal now towards the weak area as we mentioned Bishop's taken, but he's giving our rooks space along the weak area that we're targeting. So this is why we're not going to lose any sleep over that particular attack. Now we can bring our bishop, attack, get the rook involved if they do capture, and bring it across. So let's go here. So establishing different target areas in the initial outset of the game still have your main focal point of going for the king but if you can't get to the king change your trajectory bring the rook in across now so it's attacking the pawn here he's obviously going to defend by pushing it down but we're still going to keep our focal point on these areas because strategically they that's an that's a sound attack for us it's actually coming protected with the queen protected because obviously the if the pawn pushed our bishop would be able to take the weak area okay so it's one of two things i can do i can bring my queen here he just brings his rook behind we're making them do something they don't want to do or i can push up trying to manage this square so he's coming with his knight attacking the pawn here queen is protecting the pawn as well can probably expect the pawn to come rushing down here but the queen is still protecting this pawn the queen is actually on one of the squares that we wanted to target the knight is on one of the squares we wanted to target so it's looking quite rosy for us really I'm going to bring a queen across here now obviously making space for the rook so they've established pieces away from their king it has to be mentioned so the king is almost going to be home alone once it goes in castles and that's an ideal position isn't it to attack these so he's attacking the rook the rook can be defended but it's also putting like a two on one type situation on the pawn so i'm still going to just bring the rook here key squares are here it's a nice change in the mindset this is how i keep myself motivated in playing chess is breaking down what are the elements of the answer to chess and what is it that i'm seeing other players do in their games when i'm researching and watching analyzing evaluating their games so the king is now home alone with dark diagonals 
and we've got a dark square bishop totally weak areas okay so we'll go there so the rook now in essence whew, there's many things we can do these are the weak squares well not weak squares these were the targeted squares that we wanted to start targeting we could attack target the knight brings his pawn down nice diagonals there hmm. interesting times target 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 we're making them just this is really good so he could lose his knights if this bishop takes this pawn and he takes he, sorry his rooks then we take his rook then he loses his rooks going to take the pawn one of the target areas one of the pieces in the target spaces so he does take so we take and obviously his rook isn't going to take because he then loses both his rooks he does take and we take with a check so the target areas worked out worked a dream here an absolute dream so now we've got pressure on the king and we've got the knight now as well because we've got a check through with the queen onto the king The queen is obviously looking to come here, chomping at the bit to get down here, and that would be a back rank checkmate. So that is something that we have to be very mindful of, and we have to take action probably now, because if we just take the pawn, his queen comes down. So we may lose a pawn here, but I, let me see. Is there anything better? Could bring the queen down. Is there another check on the king? There is, but the rook is there. Pawn takes. Let's just push the pawn. Queen's chomping to come down here for his um, little check. But now he's not going to do it, so the pawn will take now. So that's nice. One, two, three. Knight's still in the target area. One, two, three. Nothing in the target area, but we've obliterated the stuff that was there so that the rook had access to attack the king now it's not it's not about being pushy with our attacks we've pushed this pawn so that we potentially can push onto this pawn here then he has to make a decision does he drop he can't because the x-ray through so he's probably going to have to push this pawn down to block off But you'd think he'd want to take oh what's happened here well that knight was protecting this square one of the target areas so we can put a check on the king just does a little bit of a breaker and uh, He's not going to want to go there because our queen can take and put a check here. So it's best going yeah, there. So our queen can take this pawn and then we're kind of like one move away from checkmate. His queen can come and put a check. Does he have those that annoying um, repetitive? Doesn't look like it. So I think we can go with the queen. I'm almost in front of the two weak areas that we had outlined queen does come with a check I don't think there's a repetition so I think it's checkmate based on the targeting that we're talking about I, ho I hope that does explain the different types of targeting, targeting that you can do within the answer process so in essence there is no real true technical way of doing the answer it's having your own sort of concepts as to what areas you're targeting what areas you're focusing on and it looks like the opponent may have left the game and it's going to count down from 50 seconds so we'll pause so the opponent didn't return so we've claimed victory on that so like i was saying this there's no real true complete technical answer to chess it's about being able to mix up your targeting your strategies 
so that it makes it more motivational for yourself in terms of how you want to position yourself on the board and it's being flexible to be able to change at any given moment to look at what is actually happening on the, on the board and respond to what is happening on the board and then really highlighting a bit like the Terminator when it's doing its targeting yeah it like picks out body heat temperament that type of stuff are, are they aggressive are they are they passive you know and then takes appropriate actions this is the same type of process that we're sort of looking at here having a look at what you think are potentially the weak areas and really picking out the appropriate spaces that you want it's not being this is why i'm, I'm highlighting more spaces now you know and, and squares just to show that it's not about just picking out specifically that one or you know even those two yeah those two for the um, king they do work for us but it's about like we can expand it out a bit and say well i'm going to come around this area here this is where i want to be putting the pressure on so when you're initially starting out i mean you could say well okay i'm going to attack this area here so just so you get used to having the feel of your own targeting and your concepts just start big and say well yeah i'm gonna maybe even target this square or go as big as that don't go too big because then you take up the whole board and then it's like well you're attacking the whole board not possible so yeah um maybe you're going to start like i'm going to focus on this area here my strategy is to work and damage those pieces because my pieces are going to be better placed in there because i'm going to do x y and z strategically and then you can break it down and make it a little bit smaller your square your pieces etc so hope that helps and it's a different way of looking at the answer process we're always going to be flexible with the answer process and like i said it's no scripted scripted type thing learn to be flexible learn to react to whatever is on the board okay let's continue the absolute answer to chess type situation oops oh dear me preemptive move didn't mean to do that okay let's go here right so the targeting weak areas for the king on this side but let's look at initial targeting so the initial targeting for us now is going to be focused on these squares here that's what i'm choosing based on the initial movements of the opponent let's go with this targeting area here so if we can obliterate the pieces off the board as best possible and that's number one to start with we should be best placed to start getting traffic going towards these um pawns here which hopefully should give us an advantage these squares if we can so all other moves pale into insignificance if they're too far away from these pawns and take us away from our immediate goal which is to manage these squares then they're a waste of time let's just bring the bishop here it's just in front of the target zone so managing the pieces around the target zone and he's left this pawn unprotected so this is in the target zone so we're quite happy at gap capturing that pawn anything else outside of the target zone for these initial moves looks like the opponent may have left the game so because we've taken this initial pawn in this um, target zone it looks like they're a bit upset and they've left the game so we'll claim victory on that <clears throat> we'll play another one just to show an example of um, appropriate targeting okay so on to the next one okay this is a different type of opening so target point here the weak area so we're, what we're going to do is focus on these center squares here and try and obliterate the pieces from this area to help us drive traffic towards these weak areas here towards the king so let's go here these are the squares helps with the mental preparation the psychological preparation these are the squares try and stick with that idea let's grab here so we've got rid of those from this square and 
so we've got one remaining in this area okay so let's start developing our pieces let's just put a check on the king here focal point is here so how can we get rid of these pieces let's just take this off the board we don't need to overthink these things this is the pressure point this is what we want to be managing so let's bring the knight here we want to manage these squares let's push here anything outside of the management of these squares is not non-essential to me let's castle king safety okay now 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 so if we don't manage this area who does let's attack if they capture then we're at least for the moment we've got management there so that's fine and he's looking to open up he wants this pawn to be the center of attention we want to keep the management of this square we could come here just to uh, be a bit of a nuisance his pawn drops let's go here for now because these are the squares that we want He's got one in our square at the minute. So we've got to try and fight tooth and nail to, to get rid of that. The queen doesn't have any protection on it, so we can push onto this pawn. If the pawn takes, we get the queen for free. Let's move the queen now, so we can actually take this pawn. And if they take back with their pawn, we have a check on their king. Uh, ooh. The area is here, isn't it, that we want. So I'm going to take with the pawn. So now we've got this. And his queen is going to be in our square. It's our square, it's not his square. How do we manage that? It's a different sort of mindset. It's the, It helps to drive forward better play, I believe, if you have a focal point. We could take his queen is going to be there. It's in our zone. But our rook can come here to get it out of our zone. Let's do that. Bring the rook here. Right, so now we should have complete management of the target zone. Voila! It's like magic. So now we can bring the queen here to support, but also have a discover check on the king all based on the targeting that we initially did he's blocked off the pawn from pushing so we can't get the discovered check but that's putting pressure onto his rook pressure that the rook doesn't really want to have Just bring this rook here to get a bit of ownership coming up not necessarily going to this square but uh, now he's got a two on one we've got we've got a rook putting pressure onto here still in the zone did he just take something then yes he did didn't he it does have a bit of a no it doesn't really I was going to say it does have a problem because if we take say the queen takes queen takes his rook takes then our rook goes there his rook goes his, his king can move so it's not a back right checkmate so this might be one of those because if I go here then he gets the background checkmate so it might be one of those where I just simply have to just capture we still do have this discovered thing but I don't think we're going to get any any biscuits from that one so it does take with the queen okay this is going to be a delicate operation now I won't put a check on with my rook I think we'll lose out because his rook will come down to here and start snapping off our pawns and they've resigned did I have a winning position or did he think he was getting background checkmated I don't think I had a winning position 